I'm going to show you how to create a split form in this video. A split form shows a one-to-many relationship by placing a standard column lay form layout in the top section and a database or data sheet showing the related records in the bottom. This allows a split view of both of the tables in our database, so table agent and table properties in this case. So go ahead and close any forms that you have open. We are going to go to the Create tab on the ribbon and use the form wizard again. This time we're going to pull in all of the fields from the table properties and the table agents. Clicking Next. We're going to view our data by agent and then their associative property listings. So this is where the subform comes in. It's going to show the agent and then the relationship that agent has to various properties. Click Next. We're going to show it in data sheet form. And let's name this form agent listings. And we'll call the subform form property subform with no spaces using camel case. Click finish. Again, let's update our headings here. We need to go into design view or layout view. Let's take a look at design view this time. So clicking in design view. And you can see now that we have a bit of a graph-like look. We can move things around a little bit more easily and we can do other sorts of calculations creating bound and unbound controls as well as buttons and hotkeys here. But for now we're just going to rename the title in the form heading. We're going to call it Agent Listings. And let's make that a little bit smaller. And we'll also make the form header a little bit smaller. Let's go back into form view and we can see that we have the ID, the first name of the agent, and then the properties that they are handling. And as you scroll through the various agents, you should find that you're the last one and you do not have any properties associated with your name right now. Let's just update this one last um, field here. So we go back into layout view. So double click into this label and just remove FRM so that it says properties. And you can even make it just a little bit closer to the data sheet so that it shows more clearly what it's representing. We're going to modify this form in the next video.